Hi, I'm Andrew, Dr. Yogi. We're going to look at a short video on plank pose. It's not always people's favourite posture, but we're going to look at lots of different variations so there's something for everyone. So let's begin by looking at the placement of our hands before we begin. So Ju will demonstrate. So have your hands shoulder width apart. So they're directly, the wrists are directly below the shoulders. Okay, spread the fingers wide onto the mat and try to have your index fingers parallel to one another. This allows the weight to be distributed along the length of the arm bone and directly through the center of the wrist. So it really minimizes any strain on the wrist here. Plug the hands into the ground. So push the pads of the fingertips but also the base of the fingertips into the ground and then have a gentle suction up through the palm of the hands. You should feel nice and grounded. Now if you do have any wrist conditions, you can also come down onto your elbows. So come down onto the elbows. They again want to be directly underneath the shoulders. To check that, just take hold of the opposite elbows with your hands and then keep your elbows there, clasp your fingers in front of you. The other option is just to have the hands, the forearms parallel, spread the fingers onto the mat. So just find the option that works for you. Let's look now at this from the side angle. So if you can just turn to the side, we'll get the hands placed. So begin, hands shoulder width apart, spread the fingers wide, index fingers parallel. Have a gentle bend into the elbow so we're not hyperextending here. And then begin to walk the knees back behind you, tuck the toes under and lift up into plank. Now really establish your breath. You want to be in a straight line from the crown of your head to your heels. Let's find mountain pose Tadasana alignment here. So imagine that you're reaching your heels back towards the back of the room. Roll your inner thighs up towards the ceiling into that space at the back of your pelvis. Draw your tailbone towards your heels. Find a little bit more softness into your front lower ribs. Breathe into your back body. And then keeping that space, find broadness across your collarbones. Lengthen through your neck by looking a couple of inches in front of you. Establish your breath. And then slowly lower down onto your knees. Now, if that is too much for you, there's a variation that you can do to begin with. So, let's come down onto our elbows just to try this. So, again, have the elbows directly underneath the shoulders. Choose the position of the arms that work for you. This time, we'll walk the knees back a little bit, but then we're going to cross the ankles. And imagine you're trying to pull the ankles apart. So, from here, really lift up through the shoulders, scoop the belly up, and then you'll feel the lower abdominal muscles engage. As you roll the inner thighs back, lower the tailbone. Squeeze the ankles apart. Really feel the legs active. Slowly unhook the feet. You can take a couple of deep breaths. Rest if you need to here. And then change the ankles over to the opposite cross. Draw the legs apart. Keep scooping the belly up and in. Push the elbows into the ground. Lift the shoulders high. Get broadness across the back of the body. Lengthen through the back of the neck. Look a couple of inches in front of the hands and then slowly rest. Let's come into child's pose. Just have the big toes touching, knees wide, allow the bum to sink towards the heels, reach the hands forward, allow the head to slowly fall down towards the ground. Plank pose, I hope you enjoyed it.